We did it! We finally completed our biggest DIY renovation project to date. Over the past year, we gutted our entire master bathroom and closets down to the studs, redesigned the space and built it back piece by piece. It's taken a lot of blood, sweat and tears and brain power, but I am so proud of what we have built. My favorite parts of the space are the biggest and first walk-in closet I've ever had, this vanity we designed and built that reuses doors from the previous vanity, and of course, this huge walk-in shower that's built with foam. In this video, I'm going to show you how we redesigned the space and built the shower with the Hydroblock waterproofing system. We bought our 1970s home two years ago knowing that it needed to be remodeled, but I think it's fair to say that we severely underestimated how much work needed to be put into it. The bathrooms and closets were untouched for almost 40 years. They were smelly and moldy and attracted all sorts of bugs. The tub drain was leaky and rusty and the window needed to be replaced too. The tile around the bathtub had no waterproofing behind it, so the moldy drywall crumbled when we removed it. While the lack of waterproofing was a big problem, it was exacerbated by the lack of an exhaust. The ventilation in that space was terrible. The drywall in the bathroom and the carpet in the closets were exposed to humid air for over 40 years, so they had deteriorated. Another issue was that the Jack and Jill layout created a lot of wasted space. The four doors were a hindrance to both circulation and airflow. We decided to close the two main openings and create a new one in the middle. We converted one third of the space on the right to a walk-in closet and the remaining two thirds of the space into a larger bathroom. For simplicity, we kept the tub and the toilet in the same locations. We added a walk-in shower to the left. We had experience with most of the remodel work, so it wasn't daunting. We have tackled framing, new electrical wiring, new plumbing, exhaust, installing a new tub, drywall work, etc. But the one thing that we have never built before was a shower. In our previous home, I used traditional waterproofing around a tub, but this time I wanted something more durable, something better. So I reached out to Hydroblock. They have a 100% waterproof system that can be used in bathrooms and showers. Their panels are versatile, incredibly strong, and quick and easy to install. Hydroblock's shower wall boards and floor pans are made of three main components. The first layer is a fiberglass mesh that provides reinforcement through tensile and flexural strength. The second component is a grey polymer-modified cementitious coating. This custom-engineered material increases the waterproof characteristics and strength of the panel. The third component is the inner green core, which is made of a closed-cell XPS or extruded polystyrene foam. Hydroblock uses a foam free of HCFCs or hydrochlorofluorocarbons, so it has no ozone depletion potential. Now let's discuss the five main parts of the Hydroblock system. The wall boards come in a variety of dimensions and thicknesses. I used a standard half-inch thick panel to match the surrounding drywall. The foam boards can be easily cut with a utility knife, handsaw or circular saw. They can also be custom cut to bend around inside or outside corners. Cutting openings for the mixing valve, tub spout and shower head was also very easy. The floor pan and curb look similar to the wall panels, but they seem to be made of a denser XPS foam core. This is probably to hold the weight of a user. I used a mitre saw and table saw to cut this curb down to size instead of a utility knife to get cleaner and more accurate edges. Another component of the system is a joint sealant that holds the wall and floor panels together. I'd recommend wearing gloves when handling this material it is very difficult to wash off your skin. The sealant fits inside a durable aluminum sausage gun that comes with disposable plastic tips. Hydroblock also sells solid, waterproof niches that are extremely convenient to install. They fit into a standard 16-inch on center stud bay. All these components are secured to the studs on your walls with galvanized, rust-proof washers and screws. Installing the Hydroblock shower system was very easy. I was able to install the shower pan and the wall panels in both the shower and around the tub in a single weekend. 
I first cut down the shower pan to size and then cut a lip around the edge with a circular saw. I used a utility knife to cut a slit in the foam horizontally. This lip allowed the wall panels to sit in the shower pan for better waterproofing. I used motor on the underside of the shower pan to fix it to the substrate. Then I let the motor dry overnight because I wanted to make sure the shower pan wouldn't move while I installed the wall panels. The next day I applied a bead of sealant on the lip of the shower pan that I cut out. I carried the wall panels in the framed out space and placed them on the shower pan. I installed the galvanized rust proof washers every 12 inches by simply pressing them into the XPS wall boards. I used Hydroblock's rust free screws to secure every single washer and attach the wall boards to the wood studs. Next, I applied a bead of caulk on the top edge of the wall board. You can also use this caulk on the face of the studs to hold the foam boards in place while you screw them in. Just like I did with the previous wall board, I used washers and screws every 12 inches. The waterproof double niche was also installed the same way, with caulk, washers and screws. Now for the messiest part of the install, covering all the screws, washers and seams with caulk. Even though Hydroblock provided flat and corner putty knives, I found it pretty difficult to spread the caulk evenly and feather it out. I needed to install an additional mesh tape on the bottom seam at the intersection of the shower pan and the wall board. In hindsight, I would use a disposable joint sealant cartridge and a cartridge gun instead of the sealant sausage. Since I didn't wear gloves, I got it all over my clothes and hands and it took a week to scrub out. Now just to clarify, there isn't a problem with the joint sealant itself. It seals up any gaps and it's completely waterproof. The way I applied the sealant wasn't ideal, but I know better the next time. I have been using the shower for a couple of months now and I've had no issues with leaks, puddling, loose tiles or wall panels. The Hydroblock system does not need a final coat of waterproofing like a liquid membrane. Your shower or tub surround is completely waterproof and has a vapor barrier built into the board. There is no need for any further waterproofing for a standard installation. Once all the gaps are sealed up and the caulk is dried, you can start laying tile on the shower pans and wall boards. I used a brown and grey penny tile on the floor to work with the slope and to contrast the grey tile that I used on the walls. Here's our final product. The walls took about two weekends to tile because there was so much surface area to cover. The cuts around the niche were a little tricky but I think I did a pretty good job. So, we have gone over all the layers in a Hydroblock board, the components of the system and the installation steps. Now let's discuss its pros and cons. I'm very impressed with how well thought out the Hydroblock system is. They have all the components you could need, from the joint sealant to the waterproof line of shower pans, wall boards and accessories. It's also very versatile. The wall boards come in a wide range of sizes, from 36 by 60 to 48 by 60 and a variety of thicknesses from quarter of an inch to two inches. They have different types of shower pans, drains, curbs, niches and more. Another advantage is the weight it can support. Even though the boards are made of extruded polystyrene foam, they have a very high compression strength. The cement and fiberglass mesh provide additional rigidity and strength. The joint sealant comes with a 25-year warranty and is manufactured in the US. Their closed cell XPS foam is considered to be environmentally friendly. It is free of HCFCs or hydrofluorocarbons, HBCDs or hexabromocyclodecanes, and CFCs or chlorofluorocarbons. The Hydroblock board is also fire rated. It will not burn or contribute to flame spread. The seamless and watertight surface is also resistant to mold, mildew and moisture. The speed of install is another advantage. The joint sealant dries in under 30 minutes, after which you can apply thin set for stone or tile. Finally, the Hydroblock system is an excellent option for both DIYers and contractors. It is a simple and effective waterproofing solution for bathrooms, tub surrounds and showers. It doesn't require any specialized skills or tools. Now for the disadvantages. I was not a fan of that joint sealant sausage. Like I said earlier, I would choose the cartridge if I had a do-over. 
We also had a bit of an issue installing the drain because the gasket took a while to spread out and seal any gaps. We had to tighten it, let it sit for a while, then tighten it again. The process took at least an hour. Finally, the cost. All the materials needed to build out my walk-in shower cost around $2,000. It's obviously not the cheapest method to build a shower, but I found it to be a much better system. It was faster and easier to install. Knowing that the substrate is completely waterproof and mold resistant also gives me peace of mind. I definitely recommend using the Hydroblock shower system and I would consider using it again on any of my future remodels. Let me know in the comments if you've used this system in the past and what you think about it. I'll link my Patreon page in the description. I'm now offering early access to ad-free videos on Patreon as a thank you to everyone supporting me. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, and the notification bell too. Thanks for watching. See ya.